We begin with breaking news. Tonight, hundreds of Americans exposed to the coronavirus are now back in the U.S., evacuated by the State Department from a cruise ship in Japan. Today, a top government scientist here in Washington says they were rescued because the quarantine on board the Diamond Princess failed. 14 of those Americans tested positive for the virus. Now, they were kept separate from the other passengers and are now being treated at U.S. hospitals, nearly doubling the number of Americans with coronavirus. The rest of those airlifted home are now in quarantine at U.S. military bases. Tonight, the number of cases worldwide now tops 73,000, with more than 1,800 deaths. Carter Evans leads off our coverage tonight. Crews in protective suits greeted the Americans as the two charter flights landed in Texas and here at Travis Air Force Base in California. U.S. officials said the quarantine on the Diamond Princess in Japan had failed. 14 evacuees tested positive for the virus and had to be isolated from other passengers. Many chronicled their journey on social media as they finally left the ship and boarded buses before flying. We just landed, Carl and I, in Nebraska. Jerry Cerati Goldman and her husband Carl were among those who traveled to Epley Airfield outside Omaha. Clearly these were folks that had had a high index of suspicion that came to us and so all of them we knew that we would uh, evaluate them. This is our greeting team. This was the scene at the base as they arrived. Goldman's husband developed respiratory symptoms in transit and is currently being tested. I'm not able to leave this room at all. She's being housed so on a medical center campus. Know, there is also concern about the more than 2,000 passengers and crew members who were aboard the cruise ship Westerdam. They disembarked in Cambodia and had been given the all clear, but an American woman who had been a passenger now has tested positive. And health officials in Hawaii are now tracing the contacts of a Japanese couple who vacationed in Maui and Honolulu. Both were diagnosed with the coronavirus after returning home. And the evacuees who just arrived here at Travis Air Force Base are now beginning their 14-day quarantine. Meanwhile, the effects of the coronavirus are spreading to the tech world, with Apple announcing today its quarterly earnings could be lower than expected because of a production cut in iPhones in China. Nora. A viral economic effect. Thank you, Carter.